You see this? This is a mechanical keyboard. You're probably thinking, wow, that looks okay. Or wow, that sounds really nice. And you're also probably thinking, that's too expensive and not worth my time. Well, howdy hey, I'm Hippio Tech, and I'm here to show you that building a keyboard can be cheap and really easy. How am I gonna show you that? Well, I've gathered a keyboard expert and a keyboard noob, and I'm gonna be putting them to the test to build two different keyboards. However, there's a big twist. The pro gets a tiny budget, and the noob gets an unlimited budget. What is this gonna show you? That it actually doesn't matter whether you're experienced or have a big budget, keyboards can be fun and good. Speaking of fun and good, over 69% of you aren't subscribed right now, and you're probably gonna get help from this video. Can you just help me by hitting that subscribe button? If I hit 1 million subs this year, I'm gonna dye my hair blue. So first, let's give the expert his stuff. We're gonna be giving him a Gamma K Acrylic K61 Pro. How do you, have you seen this board before? Never. Uh, have you seen budget boards before? No. Okay, this will be, this will be absolutely great. And for Josie, we have this, the Mellatrix Zoom 65 V2. It's a whole bunch of things I don't know. Now, as far as keycaps and everything else goes, that is a secret that I'll be revealing soon. Oh. Now, even though they had a budget, I decided the keyboards for them. For Toby, he got the Gamma K K61. It's a keyboard that you can get for around 80 bucks, and it's not too bad. But for Josie, we went with the Zoom 65, which starts at 175. Let's check it out. Here's some things. Oh my God. This is a bag for a single screw. If that's not expensive, I don't know what is. Good to see Noah, the cat, is helping out. Oh my God, that's heavy. <laughs> wow, it's my color. For those of you who don't know, Josie's favorite color is yellow. Ooh, that's fancy. And you built one keyboard before. Yes. So you're not a total noob, you're just... Struggling. <laughs> In here, you might notice, you might notice, is a PCB. My PCB has a screw. While Josie figures out how to unbox the keyboard, Toby, you're gonna be modding it. Okay. Now you're the keyboard expert, so please share with the class, how are you gonna mod this keyboard? Um, take everything apart and put better things in. Okay, that's one way to do it, but how are you gonna get those things? Um, I don't know, could, could that be the secret? Is there a secret behind me? Why yes, in order to gain access to your parts, you're going to have to take this keyboard entirely apart. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I hope Nola doesn't eat these. Now that Josie has her keyboard entirely unboxed, it's time for her to work on the build. But Josie, do you know what you're doing? No, I don't. Well, don't worry. I'm not entirely evil, so I'm going to help you out a little bit. And if you're following along building your first keyboard, then guess what? You can also get help too. Now the keyboard you're building is hot swappable. This is a hot swap PCB, meaning you won't need to solder. So your first step is actually going to be to lube your stabilizers. Oh no. Do you know how to do that? Yes. Well, how do you know how to do that? From last time. Oh, right, from the last time. And if you watch the video in the top right, you can see how Josie lubes stabilizers, but I'll go over it really quickly. The first step is grab some lube. Crytox 240G0 something? Uh, Crytox 205G0, there, there we go. I'll also be using a lube palette to make our life easier. Oh God, okay. What do I do with these things? Well, actually, we don't use those or here. These. Or those, we don't use those either. Those are pretty lame, we don't use those. Ow. Now, here we can see Nola sitting by watching the chaos, and uh, Toby, who has literally already taken off every keycap, this guy works too fast. Why is he so fast? Well, he actually has to leave in an hour uh, on his flight. Like, he, he flew here for this video specifically? and then he has to go right back home. Now, what's your game plan here after you take off all these switches? Game plan, we'll take this apart. We'll see what we're dealing with in the bottom of the case here. If we have room for foam, tape, something, we might swap out the stabilizers if if I'm given some to swap out, if it's in the budget, so. Okay. Speaking of stabilizers, how's it going over here, Josie? Uh, hopefully good. I, I think I forgot. Okay, well, you've already put one thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm my backward my I'm working backwards as part of my process. So if I can figure out how to put it together, then maybe I can figure out okay, how okay, to okay, okay. I'll help you. I'll help you. <laughs> so in order to loop stabilizers, we have three parts. We have the housing, the stem, and the wire. First we're gonna loop the housing. What I do is I take the housing okay. and I take a little bit of lube, not too much lube, and I brush the whole entire inside. 
big gloop glob all around the inside. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. Once you've done that, you wanna take your stem and make sure that the two holes line up with the little clip side of your stabilizer and then push it in. Yeah, do I lube the stem? Because it's too redundant, we don't lube the stem at all. It gets enough lube from the housing. Oh, side segment of wire lubing. Here's how to lube your wires. Basically, all I do is I take the wire and then I dip the end in the cryptogs. But like, more than that, you want the whole glue glob up till the elbow. Oh God. Oh, oh God. God. Oh no. Jeez. Oh jeez. But see, this is a perfect example of what to do when you've done a little bit too much. You can just take the brush and smooth it out evenly throughout the stem. Now all you do is you take that and you insert through the bottom actually. Yeah, the bottom up. What? Like that? Yep, like that. And then it clips in back towards me. Perfect. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where, where'd my keyboard go? <laughs> wait, wait, Toby's already taken off all of the keycaps, all of the switches. Now Toby, hold on, there's another catch. Okay. In order to get your switches, you actually have to help Josie lube all of her stabilizers. Yeah. <laughs> this is absurd. It's unfair. Why is the outside lube? <laughs> <laughs> it was on my fingers. I couldn't stop it. Do I have to help her with all of them? Yes. Oh. I say stem, you say housing. Stem. Housing. Stem. Housing. But how do you feel about looping stabilizers now, Josie? I feel great now that I have expert help. What did the expert help teach you? That tasks are better done with friends. Okay, I'm just gonna boop Noel on the nose and then the stabilizers will be looped, so boop. Oh wow, look, they're all looped. Yay, we did it. Next, you have to install the stabilizers, and how do you think you're doing that? You screw them, probably. Lots of fun metaphors with this one. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, you need to insert them in. Ah! Do I do the big one or the little one? Is it like that or the other way? The big hole is for the clip. Okay, now. <laughs> Here's your wow stick, wow. Okay, I learned this at last time, actually. I remember distinctly that you screw it from the bottom. Not from- <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Not from oh my the God. top. I yes. messed up so big last she time. messed up really bad. Wow. Well, Josie does that, back to Toby Land. Hi. Here's some switches. Okay. And because I'm nice, I actually gave you some really good switches. But in order for you to use them, I think you actually have some other things you need to do. Hmm? Yes. Now, because you're on a budget, I'm not going to give you new stabilizers. So you think you can make these work? Maybe. No, do you like do you like the switch? Now, I don't think these switches are actually that bad. They like, feel kind of... They kind of feel like ice candy switches, but like a little bit scratchier. Uh, eh? Oh, no. I lost... I forget what it's called, though. It's a problem. <laughs> What's it called? The washer? The screw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't do that. Damn. <laughs> I lost the washer. That's fine. You don't need the washer. Yeah, screw them, right? <laughs> I did not say that. Yeah, you did. Now that we had Toby's keyboard open, though, we realized that it was actually a lot better than we thought on the inside. Ooh, this actually looks like it already has silicone in it. This is not bad for like an $80 keyboard. Or it's is like, it foam? It's foam. Oh, wow. And the bottom of the case is a relatively thick polycarbonate. For $80, this is a decently impressive board. Not too bad. I mean, the switches weren't terrible. The keycaps genuinely suck. Plate foam, ooh, ooh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Remember oh, earlier, it has like... It even has PE foam? <laughs> no way, hold on. Dude, this $80 keyboard is blowing me away right now. This is kind of incredible. Now, we'll talk about PE foam in a second, but in order to make your keyboard sound good, sometimes you need some type of mod, whether that be foam or press and seal. And I'm gonna force Toby to press and seal mod this keyboard because, you know, that's that's fun. It's the Hippio mod. Toby, do you have any idea of how to do this? Uh, I can figure it out. Hey, that's the spirit. That's what I like to hear. For those of you at home, here's how you do the mod. You take a sheet of press and seal and then you cut it to size for your keyboard. In the meantime, let's check on Josie. Yes, that's me. Somehow I have to get into here. I did it. Now, unfortunately for Josie, she did one of the most classic mistakes ever. She forgot to put her PE foam before she put her stabilizers on. Ugh. Oh, you did the classic blunder. Yes, Toby, that really makes her feel better. It's fine though, because it's a simple fix. You can just cut the PE foam around the stabilizers. This really pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> It'd be like making a pair of pants and then being like, oh sh I forgot to put the pockets on. Let me just sew them on top of the pants. Isn't that what you do? Isn't that what you do? Only on purpose for some pockets. Maybe it's on purpose for this. Do we have other stabilizers or should I use these these old ones? Well. Does the budget allow for new stabilizers? <laughs> I don't 
don't think the budget allows for new stabilizers. Uh, he's really done this. Now, if I gave you all the parts, that wouldn't be as fun. I want to see what you can do with the keyboard that you're given. You know, but I'm not totally evil, so I am going to give you a special gift. Oh. Here's a couple dollar bottle of Permatex Dielectric Grease. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Why do you like Dielectric Grease so much? I like it because when you go to put lube on the stabilizers for the wires, you need a really thick amount to go inside. And it's really hard to achieve with Crytox without breaking your bank. Mm. So doing this, it's like a cheap, very thick, like usable alternative. It's very nice. And Let's you don't have go. to brush it on like a silly person. You don't have to come up with janky solutions <laughs> yeah. to someone else's <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> what do you mean? To pockets to the outside of the keyboard. <laughs> I'm a beginner. I feel like these are like 300 level classes that I'm taking right here. I, you know, my hope here was that beginner keyboards are as easy to build and customize as an expert keyboard. Okay, that, that actually worked. What'd you do? So this keyboard has a little, it's either an on-off toggle switch or like a Bluetooth or something. Oh, it must be Bluetooth. And since I'm going to be attempting to put oh, this wow. thicker piece of foam in there, I had to make a cutout for the on-off switch because hmm. otherwise it would do nothing. So Good job. will it work? I have no idea, but it'll work better than without doing it. How do I fix this? I'm a fabric manipulator and I can't manipulate <laughs> I'm a fabric this fabric. Manipulator. I figured this would be the easiest part. Uh. You would think. It's got me in a chokehold though. You know how they say. What do they say? <laughs> <do> they say? <laughs> Your favorite enemy puts you in a chokehold. What does that even mean? I don't know. Who says that? <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> I just took apart one of these stabilizers and I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but they have like the saddest little amount of factory lube. Oh my god, wait, that was from the factory? It's the smallest oh my amount. God. Like, it would have been more respectful if they did nothing. <laughs> I think so. It's like lube condensation. It's like so, <laughs> it's like so minimal. It's like my indie rock band name. <laughs> okay, what do I do next? Just, um, you've got a couple people. <laughs> <laughs> Josie's about to become the Joker. <laughs> it takes one bad keyboard. That's fun. Did, here's a, I have a question for you. Yeah. Did this board come with instructions? Yes. Do you need them? Do you want them? I do want the instructions. Okay. Well, I feel like now they won't help. They'll help. They'll help? They'll help. Okay. Okay. Here's a build guide. Okay. Take the switch foam and place on the PCB. Measure the holes. Then add the stabilizers. Oops. Oops. I need the uh, standoffs. So in this case, we actually don't need the standoffs because we're using a thick sheet of foam in between the plate and PCB. Are you sure? Because this says the two of them are not optional. I always make, mm, don't do that, so. <laughs> okay. I think it's just extra effort. I always make, don't do that. I always make, don't do that. I just picture this is like, you just gave Josie one of those like 10,000 piece, one color puzzles. <laughs> just said. Is that how this feels? It looks like it's wearing like two sweaters. You know how when you wear two sweaters and the sleeves get all like bunched up inside of each other? That's what this okay. looks like. So you've added your foam yeah. in between the plate and PCB. This yeah. is going to improve the sound of the board. Sick. In my opinion. Next, you're going to be adding switches. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now for your switches, I'm gonna be giving you some switches that are good for any beginner. Why? Because you don't have to lube them yourself. Oh. What are these? These are Luce Studios WS Yellows. What color are they? Yellow! Which is like the board. Style. Yellow! And when you put switches into a board for the first time, you're gonna want to support the PCB from the back. So you're gonna wanna hold the back of the hot swap socket as you put the switch in. And that's just the first time or? Well, every time, but it's when you're a beginner to keyboards, it's really important because you might push too hard. Oh my God, Toby, that's so much loop. That is so much loot, Toby. Might be a bit too much. <laughs> They're not gonna work, bro. <laughs> what? It'll, it'll, it'll work. It'll work, write that down. <laughs> yeah, write it'll that work, down. it'll work, it'll work. And now Josie has put in her first and second switch. Now, she's starting at the corners and then working her way in from the corners because this makes it a little bit easier to put the switches in without having your plate warp on you. And she's doing great. And Toby's also just putting more lube. When lubing really, really budget stabilizers like this, with dielectric grease, just dipping it in like this is honestly pretty good. I think you put way too much lube on. Oh, no, I'm gonna win. They work, see? 
It works. It's gonna it be works. Thick. It works. <laughs> One really important thing when building a keyboard is checking your posture. So make sure you check it. What do we want? Posture. What do we not want? Scoliosis. <laughs> Guys, I can tell that joke because I have scoliosis. I discovered that they put the switch in sideways. It's not beginner level architecture here, mister. You just mean that they because, put that specific switch sideways? Because, yeah, I was looking at it and I was like, mm, mm. Well, I don't see the other hole. And then I was like, that hole's sideways. And I was like, well, there's the other hole. What? Por qué? Why? Maybe because it wasn't going to fit there if it wasn't sideways, the socket. Interesting. Because the switch will still work even if it's sideways. That's crazy. Okay. So we have the stabilizers lubed and in. Thing is pressed and sealed. So we are ready now for new switches. Now, since it's this style, I don't want to set this in and put in the switches. I want to preload the switches. Why is that? That way I don't have what's happening over here as much. I need an expert like Toby helping me. So I have this little piece of foam on the back to support it from the back. And then I'm just going to press the new switches in here and then we're going to load it in. All right. And it will hopefully go together. Now I've given you a couple the basic cheapish, yes. cheapish beginner switches. Well, what do we have here? So there's brown stems. We all know how people love brown stems. Look at these black ones. Do you want brown? Switches or black switches? Well, since they're so popular and so well loved, I think we have to go with the browns. Browns! Woo. At first, you kind of wanted to die. Yeah. Just to change the part. Well, I have to say I was being a bit dramatic. That's <laughs> what that's what I realized. I remember like in your first video, you were just screaming like half the time. <laughs> it was great. I was not. What do you think? Is it gonna turn out good? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Josie, do you think yours is gonna turn out good? Yes, because right. it was made with love. What do you think of that weight? It's heavy. Oh, you can Whoa. see me. Hey! 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 <laughs> hey! Which feed do I use? That's your preference, actually. Oh, huh, yeah. how fancy. They give you both, so you can decide. What color keycaps am I using? Yellow. <laughs> Sick. Now, Toby's almost done with his keyboard. Oh my god, he's putting on, oh my god, oh my he's god. He's putting the final touches on. This may not actually work, because I opted for a piece of foam in the bottom that might be thicker than you probably should put in. So we'll see if it closes. If it doesn't, uh, too bad? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Now that you're following the instructions, Josie, how yeah. do you feel about this? Well, the instructions make it pretty manageable, pretty okay. doable. On a scale from one to 10, how difficult is it? Well, I watch a lot of Hippiotech videos, so okay. not too difficult. Wow. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you watched your biotech videos. I've Those never are in seen like these. seven. No. Yeah. Close. Close. Wow. Look at that. That actually looks pretty cool too. So now that this is done, now we need keycaps. And I'm sure there's some convoluted rule for what keycaps Hippio is going to give me. <laughs> oh. He's kidding. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Now I've given Toby two different types of keycaps from my closet. Now at the time I didn't really know what these were worth, but I assumed that both of them were pretty budget. I can see that. Now what we think is that the melon keycap set is going to sound better, but the white on black is going to look better. What we didn't know is we'd soon run into some problems. All right, Josie, just yes. one more piece of foam left. Oh and you're basically my. in the last step. Okay. Not choosing the foam. So now Josie has blown us all away by actually assembling her keyboard. Hard. Hard. Why is it because there were so many steps. Wait, you got through it, right? Yes. It is what it is. Don't be like hip, yo. Just follow the instructions. Toby, I've got some fresh new keycaps for you because, oh. well, let me just roast Keepsraw real fast. Keepsraw sent me these keycaps. They're supposed to be a nice little budget keycap offering, black on, or white on black. The space bars are so warped that they're completely unusable in this build. The space bar is not good because we're having an issue where Sometimes when you tap it, the opposite end is tapping the case. See that? Oh, it's warped. So now I've given Toby an incredibly interesting, I guess off-white themed keycap set. A very budget keycap set from Idobel. Thank you, Idobel. Ah, yes, my favorite, space bar. Yeah, so hopefully this works. It'd be really funny if this didn't work. Okay, no, that works great. Yeah, it was literally just keeps raw with their terrible keycap set. Well. 
<laughs> do it for the meme. Do you want GMK or do you want budget? I want cute ones. Whatever is gonna look the cutest. I present to you. Oh, sorry. GMK Serica 2. Ooh. The keycap set that's worth probably as much as like Toby's keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of this. And now you get to use it on your board. It's perfectly sealed. I've literally never used it before. These keycaps are so goofy. They have like, they have like the row and like the number and the unit size. What the heck? Space <laughs> bar. Space bar. Now Josie's putting on her keycaps. Josie, what do you think of these keycaps? I really want to win. Oh wait, Josie, there's no afro. Too bad, Josie lost. <laughs> you already done. Josie's the loser, woo! But there's no winners yet. Toby, you have to help Josie finish her keyboard. Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> I thought you were gonna give him an ice cream special or something. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah. Jealous. What is this? Is it ice cream? Yeah. Get a popsicle. Toby, what were your thoughts on building a keyboard? Interesting. I've never built a keyboard this budget before. Oh, I've never oh. built a cheap keyboard uh, before. Uh, um, some interesting like uh, audibles, like trying to cut out the um, the thing for the switch down here, which kind of worked. You know, it wasn't perfect, but you know, we we made it work. And then having to deal with with this yeah, was extra extra fun. But I mean, overall, you know, not too bad. Pretty easy. And you got a popsicle. And I got a popsicle. Screw you, Josie. <laughs> the final key for Josie, the beginner's keyboard build. It's been literally like 15 minutes since Toby <laughs> But she's doing great. That's honestly not that far behind because I stopped Toby like seven different times to like make it so. But she's doing really good. <laughs> Thank anyway, you. So final key. Okay. Do you have any, like anything to say? I wish it were more fun. <laughs> Was it not fun? <laughs> It was fun. I just wish it were more fun. No. Okay, we're just getting it on. <laughs> just press down. Stop laughing at me. I'm struggling. Just press down. But it's not finding it. I, oh yeah, flip this switch. Well, it's a beginner mistake. That doesn't reflect poorly on me as a person. And beginner mistakes are fine because you're a beginner. Yeah. Yay. All right, now you can flip okay. this switch. Ooh, that takes a little bit, but. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, versus. That sounds a lot deeper. That sounds a lot poppier. Well, you know, I think keyboard expert, you managed to make that sound really good. Thank you. However, keyboard beginner. What? You also managed to make that sound really good. Thank you. But you both managed to get keyboards that sound quite different. And it really turns out that the keyboard friends that we made were built along the way. And popsicles. And popsicles.